Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. So in this week's lesson, we're gonna add another feature to these four paradiddles that we've been playing for the last couple of weeks. And that feature is really just another accent. So if you remember in the first video on this series, we looked at a paradiddle as being basically two singles and a double, followed by two singles and a double played with the opposite hand. We've put an accent at the front of each paradiddle so that with a single paradiddle, the accent will occur on each downbeat. Let me give you an example of that. One, two, three, four. What I want to do now is add a second accent. So in the case of the single paradiddle, we're going to accent the right hand and we're also going to add an accent to the left hand and then we're going to do the same for each beat. So I'm going to slow that down for you so that you can see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. So now we can do the same thing with each of the inversions. So I'm going to play through each of those inverted paradiddles for you, adding this second accent. Here's the reverse paradiddle. One, two, three, four. Here's the inward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. And finally, the outward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. So what I'm gonna do now is play a bar of time and then each paradiddle for one bar using this double accent approach. One, two, three, four. So again, same as last week, smooth transitions from section to section. We want to try to make the time feel as even as possible. And if it helps you, keep the left foot playing quarter notes or eighth notes on the hi-hat. So the next step, which is the fun step, is to take those double accents and just move those around the drum set. So I'm just going to take each paradiddle and practice them individually, moving the hands around the kit. So starting with the single paradiddle. One, two, three. Four. Reverse paradiddle. One, two, three, four. Inward paradiddle. One, two, Three, four. And the outward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. So we have those two options for accents. We have the single accent option, and now we have this double accent option. The idea is to be able to combine single and double accents within a bar so that we're not just sticking to one accent type, but we can actually shift those between the single accent and the double accent version randomly just to make these fills sound a little bit more interesting, I guess. So I'm gonna use the single paradiddle as an example. I'm going to play one bar, and I'm, it's gonna be a mixture of single and double accents. One, two, three, four. So 
So what I can do next is just take that accent pattern and move that around the kit. One, two, three, four. And you can do that with the other paradiddles. So here's an example using the reverse paradiddle. One, two, three, four. Inward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. And finally, the outward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. So a good thing to practice would be to just take each paradiddle and play it for an open-ended length and just randomly choose single or double accents on any beat. See if you can um, come up with as many different combinations as you can. And I want you to feel like you're actually just improvising with this. I want you to get familiar with the sensation of either choosing one or two accents and just be able to do that at will. Here's an example using a single paradiddle. One, two, three, four. So what we really want to do is be able to play these as fills. So I'm going to play one bar of time and then one bar of a single paradiddle fill using these um, randomly placed accents, either single or double. One, two, three, four. So have a little bit of fun with that. That's a great exercise to do and it, uh, it, it's just going to make your fills sound a little bit more interesting. I think you may remember that in the previous, uh, maybe two videos back, I spoke about that, um, that common approach where you just play single stickings for every fill. Well, this is just giving you another option. It's giving you an option using some stickings that you may already be familiar with but haven't tried playing around the drum set. And as I said in the previous video, because we've got accents and non-accents, it does really lend to the dynamic shape of these fills. Now, not every fill that you're going to play in your life is going to be a whole bar, you know, one full bar of 16th notes. So I would also suggest that you practice just half bar options, two beat options. So again, I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, single paradiddle. I'm going to play um, two beats of a single paradiddle using, again, combinations of single and double accents. So remember that the fill is going to start on beat three. One, two, three, four. So here's the same two beat fill idea using the reverse paradiddle. One, two, three, four. So 
Same again using the inward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. And finally, the outward paradiddle. One, two, three, four. So I hope you can get some mileage out of that. I have been getting mileage out of it for years and I'm happy to share this information with you. Get familiar with it, practice playing those um, paradiddles with the accents around the drums, experiment using one accent, two accents, randomize your choice of when and how you do that, where you place it on the drum set, just make it your own. And then again, more importantly, is when you play these patterns going in and out of playing time, making sure that those transitions are as smooth as you can get them. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video, which is every week. Enjoy life and enjoy your creative time, and I shall see you next week. Bye. Inward paradiddle, inward paradiddle, inward paradiddle, inward paradiddle. Ha, huh, that was terrible.